my channel. This is part two of the United States of America. I'm coloring on each state, listing off each capital and a fun fact about each state. If you have any fun facts you want to add to any of these states, feel free to leave it below. Let's go with yellow. Okay, so the capital of Minnesota is St. Paul. And St. Paul has more shoreline on the Mississippi River than any other city in the U.S. with a whopping 26 miles. That's kind of cool, right? Let's see. Iowa. Next, we will do Iowa. Iowa's capital is Des Moines. And Des Moines was actually supposed to be named Fort Raccoon after the Raccoon River. Jefferson City, and Jefferson City was laid out by Daniel Morgan Boone, son of the famous pioneer Daniel Boone. I am from Oregon, so they did not teach me that where I grew up because None of that sounds familiar to me. I blame the school system. Don't blame me. Arkansas. Let's see. For Arkansas, maybe I'll do something brighter. This guy. The capital of Arkansas is Little Rock. And the Capitol building for Little Rock is the oldest Capitol building in the country, built in 1842. That's pretty cool. Oldest Capitol building in the country, 1842. Neat. Louisiana. Capital of Louisiana is Baton Rouge. And Baton Rouge's capital building is the tallest in the country, standing at 450 feet tall. Which might not sound like a lot, but I think it is. But what do I know? I'm going to start up here now and make my way in and do 
some, some others dates. For me, I'm gonna do pink. The capital of Maine is Augusta. And Augusta is home to the oldest wooden fort in the United States, built in 1794. That's pretty old. But at the same time, just a blink. New Hampshire, its capital is Concord which basically at the time meant a peaceful harmony after a dispute over a boundary between a couple of neighboring towns called Rumford and Bow. So they called it Concord. I didn't know that. Again, I didn't know most of these things, but pretty cool. The capital of Massachusetts is Boston. Boston was home to many things, such as the country's first public beach, the first lighthouse, the first college, which was Harvard, and the first subway, the Tremont Street subway. It's a lot of firsts. Go Boston. This is Rhode Island. I'm pretty sure this is Rhode Island. But Rhode Island is the capital of Rhode Island is Providence. And Rhode Island is the smallest state in the entire country. Super teeny. Compare that to, well, don't compare that to Alaska. It doesn't look very big, but in theory, Alaska is massive. Maybe I'll do purple for Connecticut. I don't think it's Connecticut. The capital of Connecticut is Hartford. And Hartford is home to the first presidential automobile ride in history on the streets of Hartford in 1902. Pretty cool. It was, um, it was Teddy Roosevelt. capital for the last two months of 19 or 1784. Let's see, let's do red. Delaware. Delaware's capital is Dover, and Dover was a very important stop. Richmond. 
served as the capital of the Confederacy during the Civil War. I also feel like I picked green for North Carolina because of North Carolina, I, North Carolina Avenue on Monopoly. Is that crazy? Anyway, capital of North Carolina is Raleigh. Raleigh is home to the first historically black university in the South, the Shaw University. is the largest capital by metropolitan population of 5.9 million. Pennsylvania's capital is Harrisburg, and Harrisburg is home of the oldest, longest stone archway bridge in the world. That's pretty crazy. 
I want to see that. It was the longest, not the oldest, but it was built in 1902. So pretty sweet. Let's see, West Virginia will be. Virginia's capital is Charleston. And Charleston is home to the first museum and theater in the US. It's pretty cool. See, Ohio feels like this color. Ohio's capital is Columbus, and nearly half of all Americans are within 500 miles of Columbus. Columbus is pretty cool. We spent some time there. I like it. Kentucky, thinking it's really Kentucky's capital is Frankfort, Frankfurt, and Frankfurt. Let's see, the capital of Kentucky is Frankfurt. Frankfurt was the only Union capital that was overtaken and occupied by the Confederacy during the U.S. Civil War. Wisconsin's capital is Madison. And Madison is the only U.S. state capital built on an isthmus. of Michigan is Lansing, and Lansing is home of the Oldsmobile, classic Oldsmobile, truly are old at this point, aren't they? error, but the capital of Indiana is Indianapolis, and Indianapolis is the largest U.S. city that is not on a navig navigable river, so I guess you can't get to it on a river. Interesting, okay. The capital of Illinois is Springfield. And 
Springfield became the third capital of Illinois thanks to the work of Abraham Lincoln, who lived in Springfield from 1837 to 1861. And it's home of the some of the best music of all time. And I would call it the music capital of the of the country, maybe even the world. And last but not least, Alabama. And the capital of Alabama is Montgomery. And Montgomery was the first U.S. city with the uh, first electric streetcar. That's pretty cool. All right, there you have it. The United States, all their capitals, and some fun facts. If there's anything I messed up or you want to correct me on, or if you want to add a fun fact below that you think is interesting, feel free to do so in the comments. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're interested. I'd really appreciate it. It'll let me know that I need to keep making more videos, and I'll keep doing so. I probably will regardless, but I hope you enjoy them, and thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time. Yeah.